Hi, good day everyone. It's me again, Miss Joyce, and welcome to another awesome episode of Sci Amazing. Because learning science is fun. Let us recall first our last lesson. So what was our last lesson again? Yes, you are correct. Last time, we discussed about types of mixtures based on their particle size. So what are these mixtures again? Yes, we have solutions, colloids, and suspensions. Solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. The particles of a solution are very tiny and distributed evenly. It has a uniform appearance and it has only one base or layer. How about a colloid? Colloids are mixtures made up of two components, the dispersed particles and the dispersion medium. The particles of colloids are bigger than the particles of a solution. Colloids exhibit Tyndall effect. And a suspension is an example of a coarse mixture defined as a heterogeneous mixture. The particles of a suspension are bigger than the particles of a solution and colloid. The particles of a suspension are visible to the naked eye. You can see two or more parts of a suspension. Okay, let us now proceed with our next lesson. These are our objectives. 1. Classify sample materials as pure substances or mixtures. 2. Identify the common name, chemical name, and chemical formula of pure substances and mixtures. We are surrounded with so many substances and mixtures, and we are using them every day. But, are we familiar with them? Let's find out. So may I know if you are familiar with these products? Water, table salt, gold, and vinegar. Among these products, which is a mixture? If your answer is vinegar, you are correct. Another question. Which of the following properties identifies a pure substance? A. Soluble in water. B. Has a constant boiling temperature. C. Can undergo several phase changes. If your answer is letter B, very good! Now, can you tell me which of the following is used by chemists to represent compounds? A. Chemical symbol. B. Chemical formula. C. Dalton symbol. What is your answer? Very good. The answer is letter B. So now, let's have the difference of pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances can either be an element or a compound. Element is a substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical means. There are about 118 elements wherein 92 are existing naturally and 26 are produced artificially. A compound is a substance formed when two or more chemical elements are chemically bonded together. Example is pure water. Pure water is a compound made from two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. There are more than 10 million known compounds and more are added due to ongoing researches. While a mixture is comprised of two or more substances, that have variable compositions and combines in any proportion. Example is salt water. Now, pure substances can be distinguished from mixtures based on chemical formula. What is a chemical formula? It is a shorthand method of writing the name of the substance, showing the symbols and the exact number of atoms. Now, let's examine the chemical formula and its chemical name and common name of the following. 1. This is an acetic acid solution. It is commonly called as vinegar. It means that acetic acid is physically combined with water. And vinegar is a mixture. This is commonly used as ingredient in adobo. Another. This is called sodium chloride in water. 
it is also commonly called as salt water. This is a mixture since sodium chloride, which is table salt combined with water physically. Table salt is commonly used as food preservative. Now we have this. This is ethanol, commonly called as ethyl alcohol. This is a pure substance. Why? Because it is a compound. This is used as antiseptics. Next is gold. This element is found in the periodic table and gold is composed of only one atom. And this is a pure substance. This is commonly used in pieces of jewelry. How about this one? This is nitrogen trihydride. It is commonly called as ammonia. It is composed of two elements, nitrogen and hydrogen. This is a compound, so it has fixed property. And it is a pure substance. Ammonia is used in manufacturing fertilizers. Next is ascorbic acid. It is a pure substance since the component is fixed. The common name is vitamin C, which is used to boost our immune system. This time, we have this. This is sucrose in water or table sugar and water. Table sugar is commonly used at home for food preparation, especially for desserts. And this is a mixture. So just remember that pure substance has fixed ratio and never change and can be easily expressed as a formula. In a mixture, though the proportions of the constituents can change, they cannot be written as one formula. Mixtures represent more than one molecule. This time, I will show you more chemical formulas and analyze carefully then classify as pure substance or mixture. 1. We have table sugar. What is your answer? Very good. The answer is pure substance. 2. How about muriatic acid? The answer is pure substance. Very good. 3. Another is carbonated drink. What is the correct answer? Very good. The answer is mixture. 4. Next is steam. Water in gaseous state. The correct answer it is a pure substance. Now, Get your paper and answer the following. Decide whether the given is pure substance or a mixture. Okay, time is up. Let's check your answers. How many got the perfect score? You are all very good. So that's it. That's how we can distinguish pure substance from a mixture. Now, it's time to look around you and sort out the different products you have at home, whether they are pure substances or mixtures. And that wraps up our episode for today. Thank you for watching!
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Oh,